What's the story? What am I going to read? What's the story? What am I going to read? Or maybe I'll sing and dance. Oh, I promise that I won't dance. But what's the story? We'll find out together. Welcome to What's the Story with Mr. H. That's me. Boys and girls, once again, I'm glad you're here for another story. It's a great one and I can't wait to share it with you. But before I do, I want to thank you for watching these videos, for sharing these videos with those people that you know who love a good story, and for subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for all your support. It makes me feel great. I've gotten lots of emails from parents. Um, who have shared with me that their kids are loving the show. In fact, I want to dedicate today's show to two listeners. I'm going to give two listener shout outs today, and that is Elaf Milad, a first grade student at Jenny Moore Elementary School, and my favorite dino expert, Sebastian Trout, has been doing a great job on his own YouTube channel. He is a dino expert. In fact, today's story is dedicated to my favorite dino expert, Sebastian. More on that later. But first, I also want to thank parents for all of your support and all of your encouragement. And as I want to remind you, as always, that if you want to reach out to me with any questions or comments about the show or to send me uh, photos of your kids watching the show or videos of your kids singing along with the songs, anything like that, you can contact me at this email address right here. You can also follow me on Twitter at this address right there. That's a great way to find, a great place to find links that are easy to share for each of the videos. All right, now it's time for our story, and it is a good one, and I can't wait to share with you. Today's story is called The Dinosaurs Are Having a Party by Gareth P. Jones and Gary Parsons. The dinosaurs are having a party. It starts precisely at three. But I'm a boy, not a dinosaur, so I'm pleased they've invited me. The dinosaurs are having a party. It isn't too far on the bus. The house is vibrating and shaking, but the neighbors aren't making a fuss. A big dinosaur appears by the door. He smiles and says, hello. There are plenty of meat eaters in here. Are you sure you want to go? The dinosaurs are having a party. Some are extremely tall. Others inside are terribly wide, so I squeeze my way through the hall. Stepping inside one of the rooms, there's a game of musical chairs. A little one loses and wails. Not fair! Nobody cares! So they change instead to musical bumps. The music suddenly stops. The little one looks like he's winning, till he's squished by a triceratops. The dinosaurs are having a party. There's plenty of food to gobble. There are jellos of every flavor, though something is making them wobble. There's a barbecue back in the garden, though I can't see a morsel of meat. The cook suggests I sit down, but I don't like the look of the seat. The bouncy castle is lots of fun for the whole of the dinosaur gang, until a huge stegosaurus jumps on and bursts the whole thing with a bang. There's a really long line for the toilet. Someone is being too slow. One desperate dinosaur shouting, Hurry up! We all need to go! Someone is flushing the toilet, then slowly pushing the door. A terrible stink spills out. Then... T-Rex steps out with a roar! I go to grab a party bag. I've had such a lot of fun. But T-Rex spots me sneaking out, so I break into a run. I run and run and run some more. I only just catch the bus. The driver shouts, hold tight, everyone. The T-Rex is after us. The driver turns left, then right, then left, trying his best to confuse him. He goes round and round in circles. Hooray! We finally lose him. I mostly enjoyed the dinosaur party. There is just one little snag. I don't think the bag I picked up was really a party bag. The Dinosaurs Are Having a Party by Gareth P. Jones and Gary Parsons. 
what you think. Boys and girls, I love that story. I think if I was at a dinosaur party, it would be pretty cool. But if a T-Rex, the fiercest of all dinosaurs, as I've learned from Sebastian, the dino expert, I think I would run out of that place too if I saw a T-Rex. All right, that's all we have for today. We have one more thing left to do, and that's to sing our goodbye song. So if you know the song, sing along. And if you don't, you can listen to it today and come back tomorrow and sing along with us tomorrow. Goes like this. Be kind in all you do and say. Be creative in how you learn and play. Be the best why Day, everybody. We'll see you next time.